would you like to work on? Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Name a concept that belongs to attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Distraction. Name a second concept that belongs to attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Procrastination. Name one final concept that belongs to attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Impulsivity. Are these different concepts? Yes. What do distraction and procrastination have in common that impulsivity does not have? Avoidance. What do procrastination and impulsivity have in common that distraction does not have? Agitation. What do impulsivity and distraction have in common that procrastination does not have? Hyperactivity. What do avoidance and distraction have in common that procrastination does not have? Withdrawal. Please nominate a similar concept to avoidance. Inactivity. What do avoidance and procrastination have in common that distraction does not have? Agitation. Please complete the following sentence. If agitation and procrastination are present, then... Well, I would say there's a great deal of nervousness, obviously. What do agitation and procrastination have in common that distraction does not have? Hyperactivity. Is avoidance a subclass of distraction? No. The other way around? No. Is procrastination a subclass of avoidance? Yes. Yes, it is. Is impulsivity a subclass of avoidance? No. Is agitation a subclass of avoidance? No. Are you getting tired? Would you like to continue? Yes, I'm okay. Yes. Would you like to continue to work on attention deficit hyperactivity disorder? Yes. In your own words, what is important about attention deficit hyperactivity disorder? Well, I do believe it requires medical and psychological treatment. The last time you worked with a client with a attention deficit hyperactivity disorder problem, how did you help this person? We used some cognitive behavior therapy, um, we used some coaching and there were computer training programs as well. Let's assume for a moment a miracle would happen overnight and a perfect treatment for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder becomes available. What kind of therapy would this be? I think it would be a combination of cognitive behavior therapy um, plus some training programs for attention, short-term and working memory. Thank you. The knowledge base has been created and machine learning has been initiated. Thank you.